I'm Randy and I make candy and today I'm making spooky Halloween treats. Stick around. Greetings my confectionery compadres and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. Once again, we're here in the laboratory of the Candy Castle preparing for Halloween. A number of you have requested gummy candy, so I thought this would be the perfect time to try making some wiggly worms. <laughs> if bears are more to your liking, this recipe will work just as well for those. I got it from Sugar Geek Show, and I've included a link down below. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own gummy candy, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, you'll need 8 ounces of granulated sugar, 3 tablespoons of sorbitol, Sorbitol is a sweetener, but we're using it here because it works with the gelatin to make your worms nice and chewy. After the recipe, I'll share some interesting facts about sorbitol, including why moderation is key. Continuing with the ingredients, you'll need 8 ounces of corn syrup, 6 ounces of cool water, 44 grams of unflavored gelatin, 1 and a half teaspoons of candy flavoring, I'm using strawberry, 2 teaspoons of citric acid, and some food coloring. You'll also need a saucepan, a bowl, a spoon or spatula, some molds, and eyedroppers or spoons to fill the molds. These droppers came with the molds, but you can use any droppers you have that are food safe. Okay, let's make some candy. Pour the water into a bowl, add the gelatin, and stir gently to combine. In a saucepan over medium heat, add the corn syrup, sugar, and sorbitol. Stir it gently and bring it to a simmer. Place a lid on the pan for a couple of minutes to wash the sides of the pan. Remove the mixture from the heat and add the citric acid and gelatin. Stir it until everything is melted. Let it sit for 10 minutes. While you're waiting, spray the molds lightly with some cooking spray. When the 10 minutes are up, scoop the foam off the surface and discard it. I added the flavoring at this point because I only used one flavor. If you want to use multiple flavors, add them with the coloring. Strain the liquid into one or more bowls and add in any colors that you want. Add the mixture to the molds. You can see that I was using two colors per worm. Feel free to use more or less. If I'd worked faster, I might have been able to fill all three trays. As it was, I got about two and a half trays done before the mixture started becoming too thick. Put the trays in the fridge overnight. Remove the worms from the molds.
And that's it. Okay, let's give it a try. Slanchiva. I know it's a really low bar, but this is actually the best gummy worm I've ever had. The sorbitol gelatin combo gives it the perfect stretch and chew. It's sweet, but not too much. Exactly as tart as it should be. The strawberry flavor is perfectly on point. I'm surprised at how much I'm enjoying this. I have to tell you, I was a little nervous about making these because it's a bit different from the candy that I'm used to making, but this is actually a fun experience, and I bet you could find ways to involve your kids or grandkids. In other words, you really ought to try these. Sorbitol is a type of carbohydrate called a sugar alcohol. It occurs naturally in many fruits and vegetables. It's also commercially produced from glucose. Sorbitol's safety has been reviewed and confirmed by health authorities around the world, including the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. It's about 60% as sweet as sugar and has about 35% fewer calories per gram. It's also slowly absorbed by the body, which reduces insulin secretion and helps keep blood glucose levels lower. It contributes to oral health because it inhibits the growth of oral bacteria. That's why you'll often see it used in sugar-free chewing gum. Now, here's where the moderation comes in. Some sugar alcohols, including sorbitol, when eaten in excessive amounts can cause gastrointestinal discomfort, including gas, bloating, and diarrhea. You may have read stories about sugar-free gummy bears sold on Amazon. That's why the FDI suggests you consume no more than 50 grams of sorbitol in a day. This recipe has about half that, so you could probably eat the entire batch safely, but please don't. Remember, sharing is caring. If you enjoyed your time here in the Candy Kitchen, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for sticking around, and I hope you'll join me next time. I thought this would be the first to... If bears are more to your liking, this recipe will work just as well for the... Oh my goodness. Which reduces insulin secretion and helps keep blood glucose. Blood glucose.